I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will discuss a real life situation and try to solve it using sine or cosine law. I drove west for 18 kilometers on highway 401 and then took an exit to head from north 30 degrees east for 12 kilometers. How far am I from the starting position? So when you have questions like this, you need to consider north as pointing towards the top like this, right? So this is the north direction and east will be will be in this direction. So basically, uh, always you will keep north pointing towards the top of your paper and east towards the right side. Now, based on this, we'll sketch the situation here. So it says, I drove west for 18 kilometers on highway 401. So, let us say that is the horizontal line which shows driving west, right? So, that is west. So, I drove west 18 kilometers on highway 401. So, let us say this is 18 kilometers on highway 401 and then took an exit to head now when you have angle given in this position then we are measuring angle from north 30 degrees east so what will happen here is I'm kind of making a coordinate so north I'm writing drawing a line parallel to this and when I say from north 30 degrees east that means the angle which is going to be is kind of 30 degrees from this north right so this is the north direction so let's say we go in this direction right then the angle which it makes with the north is 30 degrees that's what north 30 degrees east means and on this path let us say I travel 12 kilometers so now right let me write down we traveled 18 kilometers west and now 12 kilometers 30 degrees north from north 30 degrees east how far am I from the starting position so I need to basically find let's say this is the starting position a right so we turn from this point let's say O and reach the point B we need to find this distance between A and B so that is the distance which we need to find I hope this sketch clearly displays the information given in the question now you can pause the video find the length a b here is uh, my suggestion since we know that west this is west right and north they are always at right angles so let us try to find the angle a o b first so this angle is right angle correct and therefore the angle a o b should be equal to what 90 minus 30 which gives me 60 degrees right so the first step for us is to find the angle within the triangle AOB so we say angle AOB should be equals to 90 degrees take away 30 degrees correct so that is 60 degrees so now we have a triangle AOB so if we solve this triangle we can find a b we are given two sides and included angle so what are we given we are given the sides we are given two sides and an included angle that is the situation if that is the situation then what can you use can you use sine law or cosine law well in such situations we have to use cosine law right For sine law, we should have one combination at least of opposite side and an angle, right? So cosine laws are used for sine included angle, sides with included angle or all three sides. So in this case, we have to use cosine law. Now some students find cosine law very tricky to remember. Now here is an easy way to remember. I also don't remember the law, but I know how to find the angle or the side. In this example, we'll find AB. So AB squared, right, is equal to these two side squares, these two side squares. 
So normally it is related with kind of Pythagorean theorem. So if you draw a perpendicular here, you know a square plus b square is c square. But this is not right angle. It's kind of a longer thing, right? So in this case, it has to be something extra, right? That is that is how we see it, right? So what we do here is that we write the squares of these two sides. So we say ab square is equals to oa square. That is how to remember the formula. This the two sides given plus OB square minus two times OA this side times OB times since it is called cosine law cos of included angle which in our case is 60 degrees correct so that gives you the formula I think the formula is very clear now cos of 60 degrees some of you can also calculate using calculator the others can use uh, special triangles correct so let me make one special triangle however i'll use calculator to do the calculations uh, but sometimes calculator may not be allowed that's the whole idea right so if calculator is not allowed uh, for you in that case we'll make a special triangle 60 30 90 right that is my special triangle these sides are 2 1 and square root of 3 cos of 60 is half right do you see this 1 over 2 okay so now let's substitute the values and find a b square so o a is 18 so we have 18 square plus o b is 12 12 square minus 2 times 18 times 12 times cos of 60 so i'm writing half for cos of 60 is that okay and now we can use calculator to find the answer so okay so it is 18 square plus 12 square minus 2 times 18 times 12 times when you are using calculator why not punch in 60 cosine 60 itself right so instead of half i punched in cos of 60 and equal to so whatever you get is the distance square right 252 is distance square so what is a b it has to be square root of 252 correct so we do square root of our answer which is equal to 6 square root 7 and in decimals we could write this as equals to 15.87 right units will be units of the other sides which is kilometers now at times you are you may be given that round your answer to two decimal place or one decimal place okay so if the answer is to be rounded to tenths then we could write this as 15.9 kilometers right so this is round to tenths right so okay let me write like this okay tenths so that is how you could solve a question now important things which you have learned here is to understand how to sketch the diagram representing the situation then figure out whether to use sine law or cosine law and then apply the law use calculator to calculate the answer and don't forget to round your answer to the required number of digits right if nothing is given to you then in such case i should have actually round to a whole number right so let me write this as 16 kilometers that is better right so if nothing is given right if rounding is not specified is not specified the reason is uh, since all other values are given as whole numbers we'll keep the answer also in whole numbers correct so that is the reason for us to keep this answer as a whole number which is rounding to whole numbers 16 kilometers will be our answer in this particular case i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best